So in this video, I'm just going to show people how to send uh, log files uh, in Facebook, uh, either directly to an ECM link page or through Messenger. Uh, I tend to find a lot of people who either are trying to post in the group, don't know how to post a log, or uh, don't know how to send them in messages, which could be very helpful for anyone that's remote tuning and someone needs to look at the file. So. Uh, First and foremost, I'm just on the uh, DSM link, ECM link support slash tuning page. If you're making a uh, post and you're asking for help, it's definitely helpful to have a uh, actual log, not just the screenshot of the log, because the screenshot doesn't really show you as much information as you would need. And basically, sometimes they'll change it, but what we're going to look here is uh, where it says more, if you can see this very well. Just hover over more we're going to click add file and then you can either choose from your dropbox i never use that one but i'll select choose file from my computer choose the file and this is just a few of the ones i have tuned here and there uh, we're just going to select one i'll just double click on one and then you can see where the file here is attached and then you can write whatever message you want to write here and then post away so on uh, this one i'll just put test to be removed later just so because i'm posting it to the group so that that way people can see it click post and there's my post with the log okay We'll go ahead and delete it now. Just so not everybody's looking at it. Alright, now as far as Messenger is concerned, I've, I've opened up two different groups. This one right here, this is one way to do it if you have every message opened up. Obviously, I haven't had time to really look at all my messages yet. But anyway, uh, down at the bottom down here, you should have different attachments here. If you just hover over them, one the first one here says add files then you have uh choose a sticker a gif and so on we're looking at the first one it says add files i'm basically doing the same exact thing you can just double click it either double click it or click it once and then open and as soon as you do that that sends the message there okay i'm sending it to myself because not everyone needs to be nosy and look at all my messages to other people. I'm sure they probably wouldn't appreciate me uh, having my messages up there with someone else anyway. Okay, but this is if you're looking at all the messages, you just go down here at the bottom, uh, hover over the one that says add files to do it there. If you're in a message format, if my uh, computer will work as it should here, we have the message down here, and of course I'm trying to get it there. Bear with me. We'll get it there, bear with me. So if you're looking at it as this way, as most people probably do, there's a little paper clip down here. If you hover over that one, it says add files as well. You just click the add files. And once again, we're just picking one, double click it, and bam, that's it. Then all you gotta do, if you're the person on the receiving end, receiving this file, all you do, Click the file, open it up, and that's it. Now right down here is, it is opening it for me. And then that's just going to open up ECM link with the file. It should be popping up here momentarily. This is one of my files, obviously. Okay, there we go. That's the file of what I had sent to someone. But that's what you do if you're on the receiving end. All you got to do is just click on it and open the thing up. Not real complicated, very easy, I understand. Uh, some people new to computers, but uh, just trying to simplify things for those who don't know. So anyway, that's it. Uh, more videos to come. Y'all have a good one.